Welcome to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh, the Note Queen, where we talk about owner financing and notes. Financial solutions, one mom and pop to another. Okay, so what makes a good note? Down payment. Yes. Okay, hard cash equity, not sweat equity, not a gift from somebody, not a government handout, hard, right. you know, money that they've earned painfully and carefully saved money. Okay. That's a different type of person, right? right. You're, so you're looking for someone who can put a lot of skin in the game because that is one of the, the best protections that you have. It's called protective equity because it protects you from financial loss. If there's a default, yes. so the, bigger, the bigger the down payment, the better, but the, the, in, for an owner occupant who someone who's going to use it as their primary residence mm -hmm. the, the standard acceptable down payment is 10 percent. so i would be looking at 10 percent or more gotcha okay and i know in some areas it's easier to get that than others yes um, and then you're looking at um so then the next thing you got to do is, well, what can they actually afford? So number one, you don't put them in something that they can't afford. You're going to want someone to underwrite them like a, a mortgage originator yes. license order, to, to put them through the regular test of the DTI and the ability to pay um, and just document that because you don't want to get someone into something that isn't good for them. Mm -hmm. um, and the next thing is what's the highest interest rate they will agree to and they can afford, they can okay. afford. And then what's the highest interest rate? Because when, if, if you're looking at from the value of a note is like, think about selling it to a note investor and what kind of yield is that investor going to want? So the closer you get the face rate on the note is to the yield requirements of your end investor, the, the less of a discount you're going to take. Does that make sense? Yes. So, yeah. so if someone, you're, you find someone in town who's going to buy a note, even some of those lenders, private lenders often know how to buy a discounted note, same, same, because they're right. very similar product, right? Similar. Right. Um, if they're, you know, they're going to want eight or 10%, you know, well, let's try eight. <laughs> then mm -hmm. if you write your paper at 8%, then they can buy it at par. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Because all you got, they're out maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks for closing costs. Maybe you split that, whatever. But if the face rate on your note is four percent, yes, down here, and what they want is eight percent, you can see that you're setting yourself up for a discount. So the farther the face rate of the note is from the desired yield of whoever's going to end up buying that note, yes, it's gonna affect the the discount, the the price that you'll get for the note. And then you want to amortize it as, as quickly as possible. Now in, in smaller, like, uh, price points, 120 and below, a lot of times it's possible for, for people to afford to amortize it over 10 to 15 years. Whereas okay. if you get in the higher price points, it's tough for people to afford, you know, um, you know, less than a 20, 30 year amortization. Yes. So, right. So, but you want, Biggest down payment you can get, highest interest rate they can will agree to and can afford, and the shortest amortization they will agree to and can afford. Okay. Um, and then so those are the things that preserve the present value of your money. Does that make sense? I mean, that absolutely. Was a little, yeah. No, okay. absolutely. Well, great. So um, really great questions. Um, that that spawns a lot of. Um, just things that I sometimes forget to think about is going back to some of those basics. Right. So um, anyway, Sean, thank you so much for, for being on our show. And, and thank you for having me. I'm sure I have a lot more questions going down the line, but um, I certainly appreciate the website and all the information you provide on there. I did go ahead and join the other day. So. Oh, and fantastic. Kind of thank you call so me much. through it. So. Okay. Welcome to the queendom. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mute again. Okay, thank you. You've been listening to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh. For more, please visit notequeen.com.